Up to four animal kingdom when you look around, you will observe different animals with different structures and forms. As over a million species of animals have been described till now, the need for classification becomes all the more important. The classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species. 4. One basis of classification in spite of differences in structure and form of different animals, there are fundamental features common to various individuals, in relation to the arrangement of cells, body symmetry, nature of coelom, patterns of digestive, circulatory or reproductive systems. These features are used as the basis of animal classification and some of them are discussed here. 4. 1. 1 Levels of organization Though all members of animalia are multicellular, all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells. For example, in sponges, the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates, i.e., they exhibit cellular level of organization. Some division of labor, activities, occur among the cells. In coelenta apes, the arrangement of cells is more complex. Here the cells performing the same function are arranged in two tissues, hence is called tissue level of organization. A still higher level of organization, i.e., organ level is exhibited by members of platyhelminthes and other higher phyla where tissues are grouped together to form organs, each specialized for a particular function. In animals like annelids, arthropods, mollusks, emicinodums and caudates, organs have associated to form functional systems each system concerned with a specific physiological function. This pattern is called organ system level of organization. Organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities. For example, the digestive system in platyhelminthes has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serves as both mouth and anus, and is hence called incomplete. A complete digestive system has two openings, mouth and anus. Similarly, the circulatory system may be of two types, I, open type in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues, are directly bathed in it and, two, closed type in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters, arteries, veins and capillaries. 4. 1. 2. Symmetry Animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry. Sponges are mostly asymmetrical, i.e., any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves. When any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves, it is called radial symmetry. Coelenta apes, tenophores and echinodums have this kind of body plan, figure 4.1a. Animals like annelids, arthropods, etc., where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane, exhibit bilateral symmetry. Figure 4.1 bits. 4. 1. 3. Diploblastic and triploblastic organization animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers, an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm, are called diploblastic animals, e.g., coelenta apes. An undifferentiated layer, mesogly, is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm. Figure 4.2a. And characteristic features of the different phyla are described. 4. 2. One phylum porifera members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals, figure 4.5. These are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pores, astia, in the body wall into a central cavity, spongocell, from where it goes out through the osculum. This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering respiratory exchange and removal of waste. Coenocytes or collar cells line the spongocell and the canals. Digestion is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Sexes are not separate, hermaphrodite, i.e., eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. Examples, Sycon, Cypher, Spongilla, Freshwater Sponge, Anya Spongia, Bath Sponge. 4. 2. 2. Phylum Coelenterato, Nidaria, they are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free-swimming, radially symmetrical animals, figure 4.6. The name Nidaria is derived from the A, B. 
Figure 4.6 Examples of coelent errata indicating outline of their body form. A. Aurelia, medusa. B. Adamsia, polyp, nidoblasts or nidocytes, which contain the stinging capsules or nematocytes, present on the tentacles and the body. Nidoblasts are used for anchorage, defense and for the capture of prey. Figure 4.7. Nicknians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening, mouth on hypostome. Digestion is extracellular and intracellular. Some of the nicknians, e.g., corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Nicknians exhibit two basic body forms called polyp and medusa, figure 4.6. The former is a sessile and cylindrical form like Lytra, Adamsia, etc. whereas, the latter is umbrella-shaped and free-swimming like Aurelia or jellyfish. Those nicknians which exist in both forms exhibit alternation of generation, metagenesis, i.e., polyps produce mantisae asexually and mantisae form the polyps sexually, e.g., obelia. Examples, Phasalia, Portuguese man of war, Adamsia, sea anemone, Penatula, sea pen, Gorgonia, sea fan, and Meantrina, brain coral. 2. 3. Phylum tenophoritinophores. Commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies are exclusively marine, radially symmetrical, diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization. The body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates, which help in locomotion, figure 4.8. Digestion is both extracellular and intracellular. Bioluminescence, the property of a living organism to emit light, is well marked in tenophores. Sexes are not separate. Reproduction takes place only by sexual means. Fertilization is external within direct development. Examples, Pleurobrachia and Tutenoplana. 4. 2. 4. Phylum Platyhelminthes They have dorsoventrally flattened body, hence are called flatworms, figure 4.9. These are mostly endoparasites found in animals including human beings. Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and acelomate animals with organ level of organization. Hooks and suckers are present in the parasitic forms. Some of them absorb nutrients from the host directly through their body surface. Specialized cells called flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion. Sexes are not separate. Fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages. Some members like planaria possess higher regeneration capacity. Examples, tinea, tapeworm, fasciola, liver fluke, or 2. 5. Phylum ashelminths The body of the ashelminths is circular in cross-section. Hence, the name roundworms, figure 4.10. They may be free-living, aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals. Roundworms have organ system level of body organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and sudoku alimate animals. Alimentary canal is complete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body wastes from the body cavity through the excretory pore. Sexes are separate, dioecious, i.e. Males and females are distinct, often females are longer than males. Fertilization is internal and development may be direct, the young ones resemble the adult, or indirect. Examples, Ascaris, roundworm, Wachereria, filaria worm, and Silostoma, hookworm. 4. 2. 6. Phylum and Alida They may be aquatic, marine and freshwater, or terrestrial, free-living, and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic, metamedically segmented and coelomate animals. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metamers and, hence, the phylum name Annelida, Latin, annulus, little ring, figure 4.11. They possess longitudinal and circular muscles which help in locomotion. Aquatic annelids like Nereus possess lateral appendages, parapodia, which help in swimming. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia, sing nephridium, help in osmoregulation and excretion. Neural system consists of paired ganglia, sing ganglion, connected bilateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Nereus, an aquatic form, is dioecious, but earthworms and leeches are monoecious. Reproduction is sexual. Examples, Nereus, Foretima, earthworm, and Hirudinaria, blood-sucking leech. 7. Phylum Arthropoda This is the largest phylum of Animalia which includes insects. Over two-thirds of all named species on Earth are arthropods, figure 4.12.
They have organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, segmented and coelomate animals. The body of arthropods is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. The body consists of head, thorax and abdomen. They have jointed appendages, arthros joint, cord appendages. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs or tracheal system. Circulatory system is of open type. Sensory organs like antennae, eyes, compound and simple. Statocysts or balance organs are present. Excretion takes place through malpighian tubules. They are mostly dioecious. Fertilization is usually internal. They are mostly oviparous. Development may be direct or indirect. Examples, economically important insects apis, honeybee, bombyx, silkworm, lacifer, lac insect, vectors and opheles, culex and mosquitoes, gregarious, pest locusto, locust, living, fossil limulus, king crab. 4. 2. 8 phylum mollusca This is the second largest animal phylum, figure 4.13. Mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic, marine or freshwater, having an organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and coelomate animals. Body is covered by a calcareous shell, and is unsegmented with a distinct head, muscular foot and visceral hump. A soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump. The space between the hump and the mantle is called the mantle cavity in which feather-like gills are present. They have respiratory and excretory functions. The anterior head region has sensory tentacles. The mouth contains a fine-like rasping organ for feeding, called radula. They are usually dioecious and oviparous with indirect development. Examples, pila, apple snail, pink tuna, pearl oyster, sepia, cuttlefish, loligo, squid, octopus, devilfish, aplysia, sea hare, dentalium, tusk shell, and ketopleura, chitone. 4. 2. 9. Phylum Echinodermata These animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous articles and, hence, the name Echinodermata, spiny bodied, figure 4.14. All are marine with organ system level of organization. The adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic and coelomate animals. Digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower, ventral, side and anus on the upper, dorsal, side. The most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion, capture and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Sexes are separate. Reproduction is sexual. Fertilization is usually external. Development is indirect with free swimming lava. Examples Asterius, starfish, Echinus, sea urchin, Antidon, sea lily, Cucumeria, sea cucumber, Anophura, brittle star, Ten phylum Hemichordato, Hemichordato, was earlier considered as a subphylum under phylum Chordata, but now it is placed as a separate phylum under non Chordata. This phylum consists of a small group of worm like marine animals with organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and coelomate animals. The body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis, a collar and a long trunk, figure 4.15. Circulatory system is of open type. Respiration takes place through gills. Excretory organ is proboscis gland. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is ext- Development is indirect. Examples, Balanoglossus and Sacoglossus.